Hi again, it's Dorothy with That Scrapbooking, and I wanted to show you Project 3. This is where we're going to end up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and ring the bell and let me know what you think. So here we go. This is Project 3 of In Full Bloom, the workshop kit uh, for scrapbooking. And, uh, you know, I love, love, love these colors. So I am just popping out all of the die cuts here. And, you know, we've got these pretty frames with lots of leaves and flowers and stuff and even a light bulb. How cute is that? Look at these adorable frames. They're just so cute. And we've got a journaling card, so we remember to do our journaling and pretty flowers, and uh, so many nice flat embellishments is what they are. You know, so you've got interest on your page. Um, you don't have to have all uh, dimensional stuff, but this is just interest with beautiful colors that add to the whole look and the whole design. So I've got all of the things punched out and the, the size pictures that we're using are four by fours. And uh, these squares are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So the striped paper is totally exclusive to this project, to this workshop. You're not gonna find this paper anywhere else. So this is one of the cut papers and it's also an exclusive paper. And so I am just running it right along the, uh, it's one inch over from the right hand side. And I'm just basically going by the picture here and generally the measurements. Um, but I'm mostly using my layout mat from close to my heart to kind of eyeball where things where things go. A little about an inch and a quarter down from the top and about a quarter of an inch over from the right hand side. And so I'm just kind of going through um, the left hand page directions to see which frames go where. Now this frame is going to hold a three by three. And so I'm just putting a little bit of Tombow right along the very edge of the frame there, the back edge. And so a three by three picture is going to fit in there. And look at how gorgeous the avocado looks with the uh, lagoon colors and the glacier. It's just a really beautiful combination and so springy. Not that we're in spring yet. It's pretty darn cold outside, but we're getting there. I mean, we've got daffodils and pansies blooming, so we're not too far, be far behind. So these frames are just so cute. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally put pictures inside of those frames. That's completely up to you. And you could put them in before you lay them down on the, on the project. So you could use like a two by two picture in the little blue frame and like a three by four in the yellow frame. So, and look at this pretty, pretty little yellow flower going on on top. And so I'm just kind of doing a dry run here of where everything goes to make sure I've got all the pieces that I need. And also I'm getting the embellishments out that came with the kit, these just inky black embellishments that just, look at how that just goes ba-boom. I mean, it's just so, um, so much pop to it, right? Oh, the butterfly is just, the, the butterflies that came with these embellishments are just really, really gorgeous. So I'm putting my reminder that when I do my crop to crop them to four by four, and that's all that's about. So I'm going to go ahead, and the things that go flat, I'm just going to go ahead and put them down with Tombow. I'm leaving a little bit of space and not putting Tombow all the way around so that the picture can slide up underneath that flower. And I tuck the leaves underneath, and look at how pretty this all comes together. So these little leaf embellishments 
are going down with my liquid Tombow. So just a couple of little dots here and there under the leaves and the same thing for the butterfly. That noise is Ginger talking to us. And look at this. So the, the pop-out lamp, uh, light bulb, um, goes underneath the frame of the light bulb. And so look at how cute that is. It kind of has an old-timey look. And I'm using, I used liquid on there because I wanted to squish the, the um, paper around to get it to go underneath the edge of the light bulb. And then I'm popping it up with a little bit of 3D foam tape. So, so cute, right? Just so cute. And the flowers I'm going to go ahead and pop up. And then the leaves will go flat underneath the uh, popped up flowers. So, once again, they go down with the liquid Tombow. So you can kind of move them around a little bit to see where you want to put them. And like I said, I'm just using like little dots um, under the little thin leaves. And since the color leaf there is going underneath the flower, it's going flat too with Tombow. So look at how, I mean, that, that goes together really quickly. So there's some little pieces that go along there and... Uh, you know, if you've got a picture there, then you may not want to, you may want to use your anti-static pouch so it's not sticky on the one side. And I'm adding my world to it. And some of these little hearts, they're small, but because they're so inky black, they really stick out. So very cute, right? Someplace in there is a little tiny heart. But I kind of go through the bits and pieces as I go along. Sometimes I find them later on. I think, oh, I now, now I remember where that goes. So I'm just using a little tack in place on the uh, opposite corners to kind of hold the paper very lightly in place while I put down the other pieces. So this one is going over three, three inches from the right-hand side. And so you can count 12 to 9, and you've got three inches there. So, And these are kind of going outside of the strip, so a little bit different than the other side. And I'm just kind of eyeballing. So you can totally use, I love that one, with that little bitty heart on there for the little background for the journaling. Um, you can use a ruler if you want to. I digress. <laughs> and then I lose what I'm saying. Okay, so you can use a ruler if you want to, or you can just eyeball it to make it go fast. So this is one of the stickers that goes on the journaling. And then this is a little, one of the little die cut um, Tickets just for a little added interest. So anytime you've got layers going, uh, even if they're laying flat, the layers add to the interest and to your dimension. So I'm adding another frame. Once again, you could put a picture in there. You could totally put a picture in there and get, you know, a few more pictures laid out on this uh, this one gets a three by three, so I'm just kind of going around little corners to kind of grab the corners. So I remember to make a three by three to go there. And then I know it's going down, so there you go. So I kind of stuck the little ticket, the little um, tag, on the back of the um, journaling card and then put the whole thing down together. Yeah, it's so pretty. Just so pretty. Then I've got a little camera that's going to go on there, and I think I'm going to pop that up. Even though it's a sticker, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, and pop it up. 
and the picture can still slip underneath there. And then, of course, another butterfly. These are really beautiful butterflies, aren't they? And I mean, I had black butterflies in my back backyard this year, so I have to try to find, I think it would be wonderful to find my black butterfly pictures. They were black with iridescent blue. So, I mean, they would be perfect pictures to go on this page. So there's a lot of work that goes into, <laughs> into my backyard. I thought a perennial garden would be like, you put it in once and then you didn't have to worry about it. Oh, well, <laughs> not the case, but it, it's worth doing the work on it because I kind of start off from scratch every year. So I take all the dead branches off and just kind of cut them right down to the ground. And so you're kind of starting each year anew. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. Anyhow, once again, I digress. I do that a lot. So I've got a little, I'm um, covering the, the stems of the um, leaves there with the little blue flower. And then I've got another uh, little grouping of whatever you want to call it, leaves. And then I'm going to add another yellow flower. And so I've got the yellow and blue going. And it's such a pretty combination. It's such a pretty light, light yellow. And I like these little kind of berry type things. And he's going to go right there. And so, see, I didn't have to put much on there. Just wherever there's a berry blob is where I put a little dab of glue. I think I have an extra frame there. It's either that or I missed putting one on there completely. But otherwise, you've got a frame that you can use for another whatever project. So I'm going to go ahead and use my anti-static pouch here and take some of the stick them off. And then I'm going to put it a little rise on the uh, sticky side of the and it says remember this so the picture can slide right under there because I use my anti-static pouch and here we go with the next four by four then I realize that I forgot to put all of the um, well I have some other little hearts to go but I forgot to put the uh, texture paste on this before I really got into it. See, when I put the first strip down um, of the kind of lagoon uh, glacier look strip going vertical, that's when I should have put the texture paste on there. So I need to color up some more texture paste, but we're going to make it work. So you can see, and I somehow some of the some of the information got uh, didn't get recorded, but you'll see enough to to know what how I kind of worked around the uh, the other the the other embellishments that were in place. So here we go, putting just a little distressed oxide down on my craft mat, smushing a bunch of the uh, texture paste in there to get a, a nice whether you want to go dark or light or even lighter than this. That's up to you. So, and you want to when you use these stencils, it's really good to clean them off while they're moist. <laughs> Just saying. So I'm using my great post-it strip to kind of cover up uh, the part, the stencil parts that are the openings that I don't want to uh, have texture paste come through on. So I'm just kind of putting, putting the, uh, and I'm trying to make it flat. I got it a little bit too thick. But see, I put it on there and uh, used masking where I needed to. And then this one's going to go down. And I just have to be careful to not smush the uh, one stripe that's closest to the edge of the paper. So there we go. My little slanted lines. So there we go. It wasn't, it was, I didn't mess up my paper or anything. So I'm going to add some hearts there. Another heart down here. So that kind of highlights that there's, you know, some some texture going on in the page. You know, when you look at the hearts, then you can see, oh, there's something to look at there. So I'm just kind of adding these little sticker hearts hither and yon. I mean, this is where they have them on the, on the uh, instructions. So, you know, I'm just trying to show you that this is something you can do. You know, I didn't even read the instructions. I'm really bad about reading instructions or not reading instructions. 
And so I just kind of follow the picture, which is why I have to pull things up a lot of times. So there's all of my pieces that I put down after the whole page was done. And, you know, it came out looking great. I didn't mess it up. And you, you can do this. So if you feel like, oh, I'm not artistic, I'm not crafty, all you have to do is kind of follow a picture, and then you can do it. So that's what I'm trying to show you. You too can do this, <clears throat> which is why I get the kits, because I'm not artistic. So here we go. And I think this is a beautiful page, and I'll be proud to put my garden pictures on there. I hope you like it. Let me know. Give me a comment. Thumbs up if you want. Bye now. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.